Well, what's going on, Journey Fam? This is Pastor Curtis with week five of another episode of Face to Face, and I am super excited. I'm giddy, actually, because um, one of my favorite things is to sit with and, and to spend time with people that I deeply love um, and respect, and not just that, but to introduce them to you. And today we have a special, special lady, uh, Miss Becky. I, I call her Miss <laughs> Becky, okay? Uh, but Miss Becky, and uh, Miss Becky is one of those people where I, I love her because she has one of the most genuine loves for Jesus. And the way she loves Jesus, not just real, deep, and genuine, but it's contagious. And and when I'm done talking to Miss Becky, I want to love Jesus more. And so, and so we were praying to get Miss Becky in here, and we're so glad that Jesus told her she can do it as she prayed to him. And uh, so, Becky, we're just glad that you are with us Thank this you. week for, for week five of Face to Face. And so um, we're looking at this week, uh, God's goodness. All right. And so we heard yeah. this sermon as Pastor Jeremy preached to us out of Psalm 34 and looking at uh, uh, God's goodness and listening to the sermons. What, what stood out to you? Yeah. Um, that whole sermon was just amazing. Psalm 34, one through eight, and then 18 and 19, and how he just talked about taste and see, and how the gospel mm. doesn't start with us, you know, it starts with our sin, and uh -huh. how, um, you know, and how we make choices in our life every yeah. day, how we make yeah. choices. And um, so one time, you know, to try to get in a habit of something is, before I get out of bed in the morning, I really do pray to the Lord that I, you know, Lord, I'm yours today. I'm yeah. your vessel. Use me. Use yeah. my hands. Use my feet. Guide yeah. me. Open my eyes to see what you want me to see today. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy's sermon was just like, yes, that's what David did. You know, he was in jail, yeah. in prison at the time. You know, one of the things you talk about, you know, choices and habits, yeah. I was really... A stir when Pastor Jeremy talked about making a decision to list out reasons why you're praising God. And I was like, that's yeah. just so true, right? right? We we often wait for good things to happen before we praise God. But he was just right. Like, no, we posture ourselves towards praise, right? And the feelings would would follow. And so I've just been yeah. trying to practice that in my own life. But if I, if I ask you, man, what, what's one reason you're praising God today? What would you say? Oh, I'm praising the Lord that I got up this morning. Amen, sister. I have the air to breathe. Amen. You know, and we I have my health, I was able to walk. Amen. I mean, every day I have eyes to see his beauty. So as we look at God's uh, goodness yeah. and um, not just kind of uh, the habits that we do to foster and to posture our hearts towards that, but I mean, as you said um, in that text, Psalm 34, and wrestle with God's goodness, what are, what's some area, what's one thing that, that left you wrestling um, in regards to God's goodness? Well, I think just being a broken person. You know, I'm just I'm just as broken as the next person, you know, and um, sinful and every day, you know, yeah. you have to come to the Lord and repent and like, you know, I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have felt that way. But, you know, all of us are broken. Mm -hmm. We're all human. We're, no one's perfect like Jesus. So, you know, that. I have to wrestle with my stuff too. Man, yeah. Yeah. I heard uh, I heard one pastor say that uh, uh, the, hard, the one of the hardest things, you know, he was asked the question like, what's one of the hardest things to believe about God? When, when do you doubt uh, God more, God's goodness more? He says, when I look in the mirror and see the slowness of sanctification, just oh, my, when I come face to face with the brokenness that I still have all these years later, right. uh, how could God still be good? But but he is, right? Amen. Amen. And so I, so I, I, I just so relate to that. Just yes. my own brokenness is what right. I'm often confronted with when trusting God's goodness. Yes. Um, so we know I love you because you love the Lord and you want to see God in his fullness and his glory and worship him. Um, in this sermon, from this sermon, what, what led you to worship him? What left you in awe of God? Well, the whole sermon was awesome, like I said, but I think at the end with his child. And Jeremy having to like Gross. watch his child, yes. you know, and isn't that true? Yes. Suffering usually comes before satisfaction, That's right? It. I mean, so we do, we have to go through these trials yeah. and we have to go through um, suffering sometimes yeah. in the low valleys and that's when the Lord sometimes gets our attention uh, yeah. but that was just a beautiful thing and you know like even in the hospital as a nurse you see people go through surgery they're hurting or suffering yeah. beforehand and afterwards it's better now yeah. you know so just being able to relate that so. but as uh, I mean tears are well in my eyes now because as you uh, even share 
how the Lord sees us, even in yeah. the suffering. Because in suffering, we can easily just think that God is removed, that He Amen. doesn't care, He's abandoned us. But no, He's right there holding us, looking at us in the most tender of ways, walking with us, and 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 wants us to be satisfied in Him. And we're just uh, really we are, are are drawn to Him in those moments of suffering as He draws near yeah. uh, to us. So just thank you for for that reminder of our call to be more deeply satisfied in him. And um, as we end this episode of Face to Face, man, how, how are you coming face to face with God's goodness? How are you coming face to face with who he is? And not just him, but but your own story and, and how you are wrestling through that. And so we hope that you uh, join us next week for another episode of Face to Face as we come face to face with God and interact with who he really is. Yeah. See you next week.